Hello, it's Holder here. Today I want to go ahead and talk to you about this knife that I picked up by Off Grid Knives called their Hawkeye Neck Knife. I've been testing this knife for approximately five weeks, just uh, putting it through its paces so I could give it a proper review. And I'm uh, pretty happy with my findings and with the results. So let's get into uh, some detail on this Hawkeye Neck Knife. This knife is a full tang knife, as you can tell here. It's made of OS 8 steel. It has this uh, black oxide uh, stone wash type finish on it, which is pretty cool. Difficult to pick up in this camera. And uh, the handle itself is a G10 handle, which is nice. It also comes with this Kydex sheath, as well as about three feet of 550 cord paracord. Now the design on this knife certainly mimics a karambit, not only the shape, but also the finger holes. And once again, it's one of those type of blades, just like every other blade, that you need to uh, practice with to be able to become comfortable with. So you could kind of have this reverse grip type position, and you can also go ahead and uh, get a forward grip position. Once again, it requires a little bit of uh, dexterity and some practice, especially if you want to deploy this for uh, any type of self-defense application. So once again, it fits really well in, knife, uh, in the hand. My hands are not that big, medium-sized hands. So once again, it really depends on your build, size of your finger, so on and so forth, as far as uh, how comfortable you would be wielding this uh, blade in, uh, in self-defense or even just as a tool while you are out in the field. I do like the feel on this blade. It has this uh, very good fitting thumb rest on it. You can just kind of sit there and it feels like you really do have a good hold of this knife, um, you know, once again for whatever you're doing so that uh, there's a bit of safety in there for you, whether it is a combative application or, of course, just uh, utilizing it for uh, whatever task that comes up in a field. It has this uh, sharp edge here and here is a very serrated uh, type edge so they could go ahead and cut rope and the manufacturer also states uh, that it is good to use with your ferro rod to create a spark uh, once again it would definitely create a spark but this will eat the heck out of your ferro rod so keep that in mind and at the same time if you are in some kind of emergency preparedness survival situation uh, you really don't want to dull anything out when you have other options and what i noticed here is with the way that this is designed, I was able to get a pretty good spark from my ferro rod without, of course, uh, taking away from the integrity or the sharpness of the actual blade on the, or cutting edges of this blade. Now, along with recommending uh, continual practice, if you want to carry a blade like this as your EDC, keep in mind the legalities also. Uh, it might not be legal in the states that you choose to carry, so keep that in mind. Uh, it also looks uh, a little bit fancy, a little bit uh, too tactical for most people. So, uh, you know, I could see uh, confiscation level being pretty high, uh, especially in the areas here in the Northeast where I'm from and based from and do a lot of my training and traveling. So uh, keep, uh, keep that in mind. You know, be smart, uh, be aware, and more importantly, be informed. So bottom line, as I stated, between uh, including this Kydex sheath, that's pretty good to go the actual build and the materials utilized in this blade, and even a little bit of a 550 cord thrown in at a price that I picked it up. I think it was less than $45 at the time that I picked it up. Uh, this is a really good deal. Uh, so if you are in the market for a fixed blade, karambatite blade, uh, take a look at this uh, Hawkeye by Off Grid Knives. I think you'll be uh, pretty impressed, uh, just like I am. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful. 